So today is Daily Transmission's one year anniversary or birthday, whatever you wanna call it. So we've been working long and hard trying to figure out what to gift you guys for our one year anniversary. I think we got the perfect gift for you. BJ Baldwin came here with zero notice just for you guys. <laughs> What's up, BJ? What's going on? I just want to let you know that you are all of these people's birthday gift today. Nice. They made Thank one you. year. Happy birthday. Not only did you come for the 100th episode, which was dope, you kind of fucked it up. But we decided <laughs> that was such a good episode to have you back for the one year anniversary of Daily Transmission. Awesome. So all you people say thank you to BJ for being your gift. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so easy he just flipped it around jumped it just like that Woo! god that's amazing <laughs> it's so beautiful that's what it does it likes to land on its uh, hind legs what'd you do it took a, oh little, little my. Bump, it took a chunk of the asphalt right there. Very nice. <laughs> oh yeah. my That's god. It. Yo, that truck is so good. That is badass. <laughs> nice work, man. We're going to send you a bill for that. <laughs> it's a nice yeah. dig. Dude, that's a pretty big, uh, big divot right there. Well, let's park this thing, do a bill breakdown, and. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> nice work. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure when you grace, grace us with your presence. <laughs> We've wanted you to bring Loki for quite some time. I've wanted to bring Loki for quite some time. Fix some stuff. Why are we going down here? We got uh, that cable that keeps coming on. Oh, okay, Oops. okay. I'm down here with you, bud. <laughs> Who needs a jack or a lift? Nailed it. This is how you know you love the vehicle that you built. Right here. This, this is how... 
If you're not taking pictures of it, you bought the wrong car. <laughs> so this this particular vehicle has been around for quite some time. It was originally built by uh, John Betting uh, by Blitzkrieg Motorsports. It's kind of invisible. Another guy had it for a pre-runner. I bought it off of him for 60000 This vehicle probably the cost if you were to rebuild it, uh, the same vehicle, it would probably be about 350000 to, to build it. I'm fortunate enough I don't have that much to invest. I probably put another hundred into it, fixing everything that was broken, prepping it, a little bit bigger pre-runner engine. It makes about 600 horsepower, 600 foot-pounds. I wanted it to move really good. Okay. I thought that was uh, really important. This particular body style is my favorite uh, body style for uh, you know, old Blazers. Right. Um, it's a 78. It's kind of blended together parts of, of, uh, of different trucks. It's got a 2003 front end. This hood mold was originally our hood mold from uh, my first pre-runner that we had built in 2002. Then, the, you know, the doors, the cab, that's obviously from a 78 Blazer. And the bedsides are from a 91 Silverado. Tailgates from the 78 Blazer. So, so you kind of just mashed a bunch of things together. Yeah, I didn't, that? I didn't do all the body work. When, when I got it, I had a bunch of holes in the bedside, some stuff you know I wanted to change to make it a little bit sexier. Right. It wasn't quite what it is today. I can't take credit for building it, but I can take credit for making it look good. Yeah. It's an awesome vehicle. <laughs> we changed a lot of stuff in the interior to make it more ergonomic. Um, we put uh, much bigger shocks on it. We did a lot of suspension tuning because I was so passionate about having this vehicle. I right. wanted to really work good in the big bumps, so this truck is as smooth as my trophy truck in the big bumps. It's not as fast because it doesn't have a 900 horsepower motor, Okay. so we're about 300 down. Um, as, which is a big difference when you're running those. It's a big difference. Yeah, I run the 40 inch tires on it, so it's a really good running truck, especially for, you know, I could use it for pre-running and I use it to like play around, you know, around town. Yeah. I hit medians at like 80 miles an hour. <laughs> In Vegas. Yeah, so. Vegas for BJ is like the wild, wild west. Yeah. He's been there long enough. He's been driving these things long enough to where... He cut me some slack. <laughs> <laughs> this is 110% my fun vehicle. This is actually my dream car. Some kids growing up, you know, saying, hey, I want a Lamborghini. I wanted a, a, a Blazer uh, with a big motor and really good suspension. So uh, I've had this truck for about five years now. And, uh, you know, we've, we've had a lot of fun taking it from what it was to what it is today and, and changing the suspension a little bit, changing the interior a great deal and cleaning up the body and, and making it just a little bit sexier. Right. The, the lights really make it too. The new rigid lights, um, they're adjustable, they're the ADAPT light bars. These are actually the prototypes because I, I got the first ones. These, uh, these John, is here? Yeah, these are the rigid ADAPT lights. Um, they have switches in them, so I can hit switches. <laughs> Of bouncing up and down and go from wide beam to narrow beam ah. so it's pretty cool to have that adjustability can we see yeah. under under this old girl let me help you with She's got way more hood pins than i need Woo. you uh you call this the elephant yeah it's, it's kind of like elephant intake <laughs> There's limited room up here. When Blitzkrieg built the chassis, obviously they had to integrate the, the cab. They did a good job. We have uh, you know, a little bit different design principles. If I was to build it uh, from scratch, you know, obviously it cost me a lot more money, but I would, I would have made it a little bit lower. I wouldn't have to use a, the stock frame rails. When they built this, originally when this thing was constructed, it was made to be driven in California. So you have to have like three feet or four feet of frame rails. Uh, stock frame rails in order to get registered. In Nevada, right. we don't have to do that. So we do a complete tube chassis for pre-runners in Nevada. And what it does is it's, the, the vehicle's able to sit about four or five inches lower, which helps it in handling and cornering. So, I mean, if you were to enter this truck into a, some kind of race series right now, what what would that be? Or is um, that not even a... a uh, I think it'd be a 1450 truck if I, if I was to enter it uh, into a class. This is a badass 1450 truck. I've seen a it couple would do of them. really well. It's so fast. <laughs> it's so fast off yeah. It's really, really crazy fast. It handles really good. It's really comfortable. It's really forgiving. Anytime you come up on something that you forgot was there, like a big ditch, it just goes like this. Boom! Well, it I mean, flies out of it. We just it. watched you stop multiple times on a dime right over yeah. there. This thing stops like that and also oddly flips around 
with the quickness too. I still don't understand how you were able <laughs> to drive these things like thing that. That's another thing that we changed uh, when we got it. First thing we did, we, it had a really small motor. We pulled the motor out of it, put a big motor in it. Uh, it had like 350 horsepower. We put a 600 horsepower engine in it. We put different radiators and, and heat exchangers in it, you know, to help cool the transmission, cool the oil, cool the radiator. And then we put bigger shocks on it and we, we tuned the shocks for quite a long time with, uh, with King. How much travel is in this thing? It has that's a, about, that's a big old, oh my goodness. It has about 23 inches of travel in the front and about 29 in the rear. Yeah, my trophy truck has about 25 and then 33 in the rear. So this thing could pretty much do a recoil. Yeah, I think we'd have to, you know, turn the compression up in the shocks. Then we uh, we also put uh, bigger Alcon brakes on it. Really see them in here? All the way around. Yeah. So it stops, you know, that was that was big for me. You know, you can't just put like a, an engine that makes over 200 more horsepower than what was originally put in it and then just leave the brakes on it. So we had to put big brakes on it when we put the big motor in it. Right, that's basically how you should do it any time. That's how I did it. And then, I, and then we put a 4L80E transmission in it. So it's what we use in all our pre-runners. It has overdrive. So you can drive it down the highways in Baja and, yeah. and get going like 100 and 105 without really putting a lot of stress on the motor. Mm. You know, for long, long hauls from, right. you know, the south of Baja up to the north. How often do you actually pre-run with this thing? It's kind of a backup pre-runner. So I use my, my Tundra. I have a deal with Toyota and I represent them to the best of my ability. Uh, if I have some kind of issue with my Tundra, you know, if a, a arm cracks or breaks or something happens. 100 to zero real quick. We had a really bad accident. I had a rock the size of a car but we're glad to be okay. So, then this is this is my backup. Mm. Um, you obviously don't see this on social media quite as much as it used to because of my relationship with Toyota. This isn't really like a, a, a manufacturer's vehicle. Obviously it's kind of pieced together different parts of different trucks. Everything on this truck is, is custom built. The only thing that's not is the windshield and the doors. Well, what, what's your favorite part about this truck? My favorite part about this truck, I like driving it on the street because the looks that you get on the street, you know, driving this thing through traffic, and I don't just cruise it through traffic, I rip through traffic. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, I don't uh, think you can say that. You uh, drive spiritedly. I drive spiritedly. Spiritedly through traffic. Spiritedly. <laughs> uh, it stops better than, than most sports cars because of the brakes that are on it. It's really like driving a tank without any tracks. Well, this thing is fancy. I'm glad you brought it. It's got all kinds of crazy scoops and sweet things like that. Anything fancy in here? I don't even know how to. Um, how to... I got these shaved. You know, that's another thing I did. You're all about to be style. As sexy as possible. You're, yeah, no. There's I, no door handles, no no handles anywhere on on the truck. So. I even like the color match to yeah. Plexi set up here or whatever. That's a new thing that we yeah. did. We did these uh, NACA ducks in there. It had these big ugly scoops in the side that were non-functional. Mm. NACA ducks are proven to work in the wind tunnel. So we did these. These go to the oil coolers. And the other side goes to the transmission. Nice. Coolers. So it's a lot sexier with these in the windows. Yeah, that's fancy. This, See, this, is, this is original, huh? Yeah, this is OG shit. Yeah, that's... All the tweet. I love it. <laughs> that's sick. We changed the, the interior a great deal. Um, we built all this stuff into it. We run dual GPSs instead of, in, in case one fails. We have a big one on my side that I can program, and then another one for uh, my navigator that he can program. And obviously there's a, cert, a third seat that somebody else can run. And then we rewired the whole thing, and uh, we, put, uh, we put the MoTeC dash in it. Um, it had a, a bunch of, uh, you know, instrumentation that was uh, not that cool looking. So I wanted to put all the best stuff. In right. You want to spice it up. I, I mean, I love, I love the vehicle a lot. And it's it a shows and, spaceship right here. Yeah. Then we got all the, all the controls for all the rigid adapt light bars so I can control the You want to show us one real quick? Let's just yeah. hit me, hit me with a little light. Ooh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, buddy. So it has a significant amount of light out in the desert. I gotta say, the lighting right now, ooh, it's nice. Check it out, come check it out, come. Look at this Damn, light. I look good. Yeah, oh my wow. God. Nice. Yeah, you're a little white for it, you're a little white for it. I'm but a it's all right, white. it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we pretty much got everything covered. Yeah. You got, I mean, it's a badass truck, BJ. We put a lot of love into the work and, you know, in everything we do at the shop. Anytime I, I have a little bit of space to do something new to it, um, you know, I'm doing it. I'm constantly trying to improve this thing. Yeah. I think probably the next step, because I do less pre-running with this vehicle now, I'm probably going to put a really big supercharger on it because, uh, you know, it makes about 600 horsepower right now. If it made 900 or 1,000, I think it'd be a lot more fun to drive.
you don't got to explain to me why you're putting more power in it. I'm always down for more power. <laughs> I am too. If I had it my way, I'd have a motor that made 3,000 horsepower. You know, so you can never have enough horsepower torque. Well, let's see what, let's see what, I mean, we got a little taste of what 600 horsepower is like. Yes. Now that you're warmed up, your brakes are warmed up, uh, your driving arm's warmed up. Yeah. I think, uh, well, let's give the people their birthday present. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys in the Buick episode that he wanted to be the first person to do some two-wheel stuff, so looks like he's practicing for that. So good. He's out of his mind, man. Unborrowed time. Yeah. <laughs> that's a heavy truck. Yeah, that's a big old truck. You already break something? <laughs> that's how I do it. It's making funny noises or something or what? This right there yeah. always pops off. Oh, the throttle cable? Yeah, throttle oh. cable. That's kind of sketchy <laughs> when you're on two wheels, isn't it? <laughs> it is a little bit sketchy. But I need an off-road wrap. It's a fucking wrap! Can I say that?